day going into this this game. Uh, Jonathan Cyprian will be out this game. And again, there's there's no time frame. It's just we know it's not going to be this week. And uh, Ty Smith should be available to us um, if everything goes as planned during the week of practice. One better or worse among Corey and Corey? Uh, Corey and Jonathan? No, I think, uh, I think if you're Ranking them, I'd say they're about the same. Yeah. So it was, DeMarco's, was it a particular play on Demarco? Is just kind of no. I just felt it. Just felt it in, on the sideline, and, and uh, again, just felt like it was. Uh, you know, he agreed to, and he's you know he's a competitor. The guy wants to be on the field. When he when he says he agrees with us, and thought it was a good decision to hold him out. Both both are continuations in some regard of what they were dealing with during camp. Uh, Somewhat, yeah, I won't say exactly. Do you have an MRI on it? Do Did. either guy have to have an MRI on the uh, hammy? We'll, if we do, it'll be tomorrow, but not, not today. They thought that this could potentially cost them a game, or, or maybe you'd like to sit them for a game just to give them an Again, I, that's what I'm saying say day to day. Um, we got a, we got the rest of this week to, to make a decision on them. These types of injuries, you know, obviously for the hamstring, they always say, when it feels good and feels right, wait another couple of weeks. Is you think this was a result of either one of them maybe trying to come back too soon? Uh, I mean, it's easy to say that now. Um, you know, they're very, they're, you know, it's just a, it, a hamstring is one of those injuries that are tough to deal with. I mean, they've, they've always been that way, um, and each guy is different. I mean, that's why I don't do weeks or days on them, or you know, um, it's just they're very touchy injuries, and you got to be careful with them. Consider Demarco and Derek still—is it a starter backup scenario, or is it a no? I, I still do. Situation? I still do. Yeah, I still see it that way. Um, and I saw, you know, yesterday I thought uh, Derek came in. You know, really both of them played in the first half. We we we. Uh, it was a grind trying to run the ball with both of them in there. And then when you know Derek took over for Demarco in the second half, we again stayed patient with the run game and it started to hit some holes. Did you see the Marcos start? Yes. Yeah. Did you something with uh, Demarco? Could you notice maybe something out there on the field? And that's when you went to him and said, "Is your is your hamstring bothering?" No, he, no, he said something to our trainer. I guess I guess Danny might have to die in for the future. Why you why you drafted Derrick Henry? I guess uh, when yeah. Demarco's not available, you got a guy that can step in. And how, yeah, that's that's. Doing that? <clears throat> um, well, he was real good yesterday, especially in the second half. It wasn't you know neither was. Um, making a big statement in the first half. Uh, yeah, I mean, that's a position if you can have the luxury of having, similar to Jacksonville, having two guys that can can run the ball like that because it's you know that's a tough position. That's a that's a there's a lot of pounding that goes on in their bodies. If you can have good depth at that position, uh, we're fortunate that we we have it. And uh, yeah, that's part of the reason why we we drafted uh, Derek. Like Sunday, earn Garrett more reps. Uh, again, it all depends on how we want to attack. The next opponent. You looked at the film back. How much was the first half offensively and specifically in the running game? Uh, maybe a frustration of why things weren't clicking versus <laughs> when it started clicking in the second half. Sort of excitement that you stayed patient and wore yeah. them down eventually. The, the, you know, that, you got to be careful. Again, I, I, um, frustrated is not a good word because we, we know going in, we know what the the uh, you know type of defense we're playing against. We know the front. We understand the mentality uh, that we have to have and, and the patience we have to have. So if you, you know that going in, then you really you eliminate frustration right away. You just you stay patient and you understand that uh, if you stick with the plan, you, you have a chance to break it. You ran a handful of, of plays where DeMarco was wide, stayed wide at the line of scrimmage, didn't seem to draw a lot of attention. Was that building up to something, or could you talk to us a little bit about what the... Uh, part of the scheme, part of the progression. You know, we had three guys in a... Um, area where they, if they played zone, they had only had two, and so uh, one of them we had a chance to get it down to them. And again, if we do that, uh, it's one on one out in space out there. So it just didn't unfold that way yesterday with him. Had, Cer had your uh, Cer Cersei and Riley play maybe uh, played well, um, played very well. Obviously, um, in the right place and the right time for the interceptions, um, in run support, very good. Um, played well in special teams. But, you know, those guys, really I'll say this about our whole secondary, probably one of the better games I've been a part of since I've been here in regards to um, supporting the run from all of them.
And, and you played, I, bet, I know both those guys played. Was there, what, what situations maybe would you put Riley out there? Maybe what were the situations that you thought he was a better? Well, the rotation that we have, again, uh, we feel comfortable about all of them in run support and, and uh, coverage. Uh, and again, uh, without showing in our hand why we do this or that, we're confident in what they do. Whoever's on the field, and again, we ha we have a package. Again, whether we have it this week or again, uh, when we feel like a team has got the ability to run the football, try to run the football on us, we're going to put them in there. How much did Dory improve week one, <clears throat> week two? Seemed like he limited yards after catch and, and even did a good job tackling and run support. Yeah, he did. He uh, and, that, and that's not an easy back. The one I'm thinking of, where he came up and um, created a negative play. He, he played well. Um, he played well. They hit a lot. They hit some short underneath things on him, um, slants and under routes we call them. But I think uh, he'll improve again on that after he's seen it. You know, he'll, he's going to be tested in some things that he's been been uh, beat on until opponents see that. Quit picking on him. Your other rookies, uh, uh, Taewon and, and John and other snaps go up a good bit. Was that part of the, the plan, or it just happened to work out that way? Or? Uh, well, it was part of the plan. Um, yeah, Taewon, you know, we, we had some things designed with him in there. Um, and then, again, he got more playing time once Corey uh, aggravated the, the, the hamstring. And then uh, John knew the plan was, uh, you know, we were going to use multiple two tight end, three tight end sets like we did. And, uh, you know, again, trying to get him involved off of other plays like the screen. You know, he'd already protected. We'd already hit Delaney on, a, on that same set, same crossing route. Then we threw the screen off of it. And... Uh, just trying to play off of other things and, and getting it to guys that have the ability to make some plays. And John knew showed he could. Which kind of, when you think of Taewon, what kind of stands out about him in, in your mind? It's, and it does seem like you guys are trying to find any <clears throat> ways you can to get him. Uh, he's fast. Ball. I mean, that's, he's fast. He, he can get around the edge on you. Uh, he can get by you on a go route. Um, you know, the thing about him, which is rare for a rookie, and he, 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 again, I've told you this before, all these young guys want to be coached and want to do it the way we want to do it. And that go route, um, you know, Terry's very adamant about those kind of routes, not looking for the ball too early. Run 20 yards as fast as you can. Run by guys. Um, most players look too early. Their speed slows down because they're looking back. Defensive guys can keep, keep up with them or, or can get back what they lost. And he ran by and right about 18 to 20, which we told him he looked up and he had beaten them. And Marcus had a great throw on it. But those are some things for a young guy to do, which were impressive. Is there a way to get him more reps when all the top three guys are healthy? Uh, again, we, we'll, we're trying and we have packages for everybody. You know, whether we get them to them, if, if the defense gives us <clears throat> what, uh, you know, they're going to give us, then there is chances for it. But it, obviously, the more he does things good in games, you're going to find ways to get him the ball more. Turnovers, quite a big emphasis in the offseason. How important was it, uh, you know, for you guys yesterday to, to win that battle and, and then it's, break even in the first It's uh, pretty important every game. It's the difference. I can put a chart that goes back 20 years and show you the difference in uh, the outcomes of games based on turnovers. And it's 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 the same every year, and it's the same. I mean, it's just amazing how uh, how it's held up. So it was important. And get them three possessions in a row there. Um, by guys just doing their job, getting their hands up in the in the, the line, being where they're supposed to be in zone coverages. Interceptions are more likely in zones because you don't have your back turned, you're in position, you can see the thing, you know, tip balls happen a lot more in zones. And uh, guys were where they were supposed to be. And then uh, obviously the one by Rack, uh, the sack, did a great job beating beating the tackle, beating the young tackle. With both those picks coming off bad balls, is that something you guys saw on film that you might – be able to exploit. I know you that you encourage defensive linemen to get their hands up anyway. Is that no? That that's everything? it's it's always talked about. Get your hands up. If you can't get there, you know the ball's about to be thrown. That was Avery that tipped the the, the first one. The second one was a ball behind uh, their receiver. It wasn't a batted ball. The second one that was off of their receiver, not our guy. Uh, we were just in the right place in the zone coverage. So yeah, um, we want hands up, and uh, paid off for us yesterday on the one. It's been a while since you've had such a threat in the return game. As you watch that play again, how much was that a Dory maker play? How much did he get help maybe <clears throat> along the way? Uh, it was pretty well executed by uh, by our, our guys. Um, a lot of big blocks. Uh, Trawick didn't let his guy off the line of scrimmage. His guy was 30 yards behind the punt. Uh, Logan Ryan did an un just an outstanding job of holding up the gunner to his side. 
and hold him up long enough to a Dory to catch it. But then, you know, Logan made a good decision, which we haven't done a whole lot in special teams. He had a chance, and, and he has, of putting his hand on the guy's back to try to run him by, and he didn't do it. He just he, he made a decision. I've done enough. I, I'm not going to, you know, make an error here. And ran, him, ran the guy by and, and really walled off some other defenders without making a um, poor decision. A lot, lot of big blocks on the, on, the, on the – but the thing that Dory did was he hit it. Very, if you're hitting it as fast as he does, very hard to take an angle to get a, a good tackle on him, a good solid tackle on him. You've got to be pretty genius to know angles at, at full speed. It's so. super complimentary of Tubman Smith for, for getting over there. How, how good a play was that by the Jags to, to get to him at the sideline? Not great, not great play. Great. I mean, really great play to to get to him. But it was, it was kind of interesting that he got blocked into one of our guys, which kept him closer to the closer to the return than it should have. He got really blocked well, but he got he kind of almost ricocheted off of one of our guys to keep him in the in the position to, to run us down. How, do you how, you emotional, how big of an emotional lift is it when you get a play like that? Uh, you know, well, uh, improved field position. But it seems like one of those plays that that lights a spark. Well, watch our sideline. Um, you know, the, the one thing I, I really liked about our guys was the energy that they showed, the return, watching them how they, you know, how they care about their teammate. And it, you know, at that time of the game, it was, I think it was nine to three. Um, might have been six to three. Not even sure what the score. It, it, again, it was still a tight game, and, and that was a big play for us. A really big play. Those are all. Those are always things that. Work in your favor, and if you're on the other side, not so much. How do you sort of the guys put this one behind them and move on, just like they did the previous? It's already over. It's already over. I already talked about it. It's done. We're we're on to we're on to Seattle right now. Guys who are on IR don't generally make road trips, but Harry not only made the road trip, but he had a earpiece in yesterday. <clears throat> Is that something that was that your idea, his idea, to kind of help him stay involved and be and help? No, that's that's. Uh, we, we feel good about Harry. Harry's been around a long time, understands what we're looking for. Harry and um, Alex Tanney were, were both on the sideline and helping younger players and helping uh, after series go through, again, just another set of eyes. So. How did he get hurt, and what's the status of his knee injury right now? How did he get hurt? Um, well, he got, came in one day with a, a knee pain, and we did an MRI on it and saw why it was painful. And uh, the status is we can't do anything with him for the first eight weeks till he can come off IR. So um, that's his status. How did Sean Sims do uh, stepping in? Had a good day. Had a, had a good day. Um, I think he gave up one in cut um, as far as a, a throw down the field, no big plays. Juan said he was off as part of personnel uh, for Delaney's touchdown. Is it a wrinkle to that play? That yeah, he had reported the play before. Okay, so he could not go back in there um, and play tackle. He had to come out for a snap. You talked with Delaney just about how he feels. He's noticeably faster this year. Do you guys see that? Did you see it from day yeah. one? When he yeah, I've seen it. Uh, I've seen it the whole off season. <clears throat> he. Uh, I came back. He's he's a physical specimen. I mean, he is. He uh, you can tell he has put a lot of time and effort into coming back. He's faster. He's been um, outstanding um, in the run game too. I mean, he's probably more physical in the run game than he's been. I mean, all all around, he's been just much more of a complete player and uh, doesn't want to come off the field. You know, which gives defenses problems. They can, they can get a beat on you when you're running and throwing. You can't do that right now with Delaney in there. Is that a play that Jet Sweep? Is that a play you run for him last year if he's a little bit heavier and maybe not quite as fast? Uh, um, that's a good question. That's a good question. Hadn't even thought about the design of it until this year or so. Um, but that's a good question. You credit some of that to cutting out pork. Are you going to start recommending that to other guys? No. No. Uh, we, we, have a, we, we have a nutritionist and um, whatever, whatever, again, I. I uh, I'm not going to get into their diet. We have a plan for them. If they pay attention to it, great. Once they walk out of the building, we're just out of our hands. Do you think you uh, could give up pork? Could I? Yeah. Uh, here in Nashville? No. <laughs> <laughs> you, said, yeah, you told us yesterday about installing the, the Henry touchdown run on Saturday night. 
Yeah, could you go a little bit more? What's what's the light bulb out of that? I know you guys are always thinking. Do you try to shut it down after you're done on Friday or no? Um, and actually, what it was, uh, there were two plays. One one was a Saturday night install. Uh, that one was a Saturday morning install. And uh, you know, I again, a lot of it's based on what we've done before against them. And it was just a look. We had the same motion, same set. We ran the same play against them about eight times here for pretty successful plays, a couple of touchdowns. And it, I, I personally, I thought if Supernaw does the same thing, and instead of coming all the way back and running the play we ran against him, if he stops and runs, we call it a lead open, um, they're going to think it's coming over here and we're going to hit him over here. And it, 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 what exactly happened when he went in motion, Puzlesny moved over to stop the play over here and put himself out of position and let, allowed us to have angles on all of them. Um, and again, we, there's one unblocked guy, and Derek stiff armed him. But that's kind of the not not a hard play. It's already a play we have. We, the play was already in. Is just out of a different look. Does that pop into your head Saturday morning or overnight? Or I, just as I'm again continue. I watch film all week, so um, I just I thought if if they're looking for something, we're going to give them something else. When you call that play, are you thinking touchdown? Like I mean, is it, no, but I'm that? thinking. I think I'm thinking we. Uh, We'll have angles. You know, again, a lot of the run game is: Do you have angles on 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 them, and do you, are you in position to block them? Are you putting your Are you putting your guys in position to do a, their job? And uh, I thought that play first time we'd run it that we would have an angle on them. On the interception that Marcus threw, does John need to sit in the hole of the zone more rather than continue the route? He needs to be He needs to be a little bit deeper in. in uh, Again, he was short on the route. That had nothing to do with the throw. Marcus just didn't see, didn't see him. Um, and again, we even after watching the tape, there's some things we could do offensively to put John New in a better position and Marcus in a better position. So you can put scheme on that as much as anything. But you know, they defended the play and Marcus didn't see it. You said you're on to the next one already, but did you guys clear a hurdle yesterday, winning a division game on the road for the first time in three or four years? We wanted, we won an important game on the road in, in our division. That was the, again, um, there's, that was that, that was yesterday. We're already on to Seattle. Um, there's nobody in here patting themselves on the back. We got a lot of work to do still. Um, and uh, just like the week before, with the bad taste, good taste, taste is gone. We got we to get ready for the next one. What challenges did uh, Russell Wilson let offense present? Play's never over. Um, you talk about a guy that's going to put you, you know, if we're not disciplined with our rush lanes and where we're supposed to be, and it's really our coverage, if, we, if we're not uh, in tight coverage and he gets out of the pocket, you're talking about bad things can happen. So uh, he's he has a history of that, and uh, we know that. We know the potency of this offense. For, irregardless of what's taking place the first two weeks, we will be ready for what they're capable of doing. How much does Seattle's defense for what kind of challenge do they provide to you? Is it any help that they have that they run the, the similar scheme that Jacksonville runs a similar scheme to them? I think it helps that you you know you're seeing them back to back. I mean, I don't know if it's an advantage. It, you know, we've we've. Um, but again, it's a very good defense, very similar um, in regards to scheme of getting to the passer uh, with their front. Their secondary, obviously, is a very strong secondary, one of the best in the NFL that we'll have to deal with. Um, again, this is, a, this is a top five defense just about every year we got to deal with coming in here. <clears throat> okay. I'll send out a schedule uh, tomorrow once I get it finalized. But... Uh, It'll be just uh, just Coach Carroll, that player.